Hello and welcome to the Philippines. There's a birthday party going on in Barili, Cebu, the Philippines, not far from Molbol. And I wasn't there. I gave uh, a friend a camera. And uh, anyway, it seems that everybody is excited, including all the animals here. They know something's going on. They haven't seen this many people uh, in this area, all congregated together in a long time. But first, one has to get there. In this case, uh, it meant uh, going down to the south bus terminal, which is near the downtown area in Cebu City, near what they call E-Mall or Elizabeth Mall, uh, if you want to, uh, to have a landmark there. And... Uh, Bus going, it's about, depending on traffic, uh, two to three hours. Every bus ride that I've taken, uh, you get on the bus and take a seat, and uh, they have a second person besides the driver there that goes up and down the aisle and asks you where you're going and gives you a little ticket uh, that, that tells you how much uh, the fare is going to be. And then you pay that person. And uh, in this case, the fare from Cebu City to Bur the city of town of Barili was 78 pesos. And once uh, they got to this, the town of Barili, uh, the, the, the ladies who had the birthday going on up in the mountains, uh, the ride up there on a motorbike was 70 pesos. It's quite a ways up there into the mountains. And it was 70 pesos to take that trip up there. They have air-conditioned buses, and they have non-air-conditioned buses. Uh, just depends on uh, what time you arrive at the bus station and uh, what's going to be leaving and what type of time schedule you're on. Uh, your only choice may be a non-air-conditioned, and here traveling at night, it, it's usually reasonably uh, comfortable. In fact, it can even be cool because they have the uh, they uh, they have some of the windows down and uh, the air blowing through there. You get the wind chill. It can actually be chilly on there. So I always bring a uh, some type of sweatshirt, hooded sweatshirt, uh, just in case. Barili is just north of Mol Bol on the west side of Cebu Island. If you want to catch a bus and you know what bus you want to catch, uh, you can usually stand on the side of the road and just stick your arm out, get their attention, flag them down. Uh, these people looks like they were just uh, shipping some uh, packages, and they you can ship packages also by by bus, and I've seen that happen a number of times. So they flagged them down, uh, gave them some packages, uh, paid for the fare for the packages, and that was it. It appears there are regular stops uh, along the route where buses will stop if there's any passengers waiting there. Uh, so that's another thing. Ask the locals. Ask the locals if there's a, a bus stop out on the street so you don't have to go to the terminal, possibly. Sometimes they pack these buses uh, with standing room only, and they do. They pack them in there uh, standing down the aisle. Um, so you might want to show up a little bit early, make sure you got spot. Uh, another point, uh, uh, these little 12 person vans, usually air conditioned vans, they call V hire, van hire. Uh, you can pick them up at some of the bus terminals. Uh, sometimes they're stationed at, for instance, SM Mall in Cebu City, uh, SM Seaside Mall. Uh, they have some that run out of the uh, PUV terminal. <laughs>
Ini They have several hectares or acres of crops and uh, coconuts, banana trees. This is sweet corn. Anybody that's been around corn knows what sweet corn is. And uh, goats and cows and carabao, all that good stuff. So up there in the mountains. There's the birthday girl, 70 years old. She looks very uh, spry and energetic, wandering off through the <laughs> sweet corn fields. Uh, she takes care of a lot of this land and the animals. I've had a number of people tell me I should move to the province where it's cheaper to live, and I could do that. I grew up on a farm. I could manage that. Uh, I think I would have a, a good time for quite a while. Uh, eventually, I would get, get a little bit uh, bored, possibly, if I wasn't uh, very busy with crops or gardening or something. Um, there are some challenges with living in the province, as, as you might uh, imagine. Uh, uh, power outages, uh, you're not close to medical help if you need it, uh, and, and a number of different types of things. Anyway, I appreciate you coming along up here to the birthday party in Barili, uh, Cebu, the Philippines. Um, please like, share, and subscribe, and safe travels to you all.